film play an important role in our society. We don't need a superhero male for us, for the women to to help and stand and fight. Otherwise, they won't fight. Hello and welcome. This is Tanya Garg, and you're watching me on India.com. In conversation today, we have with us Manish Mundra, the director of Sia. Well, this movie has already created waves, but is all set to make waves yet again with its comeback on Z5. Let's talk about it. First of all, let's welcome the director. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, how can I not congratulate you about your debut and uh, that you won big at the Asian Film Festival? So congratulations on that. So you know, Manish, I want to know what happens when you you know, just like I said that this film has made conversations or people are talking about it. So, uh, is it like a major win? Would you say that when a socially strong film creates a conversation, create karti hai, toh, as a director, would you say that this is a win for the film? Yeah, surely, Tanya. What happens when we choose these subjects? Right. Especially uh, knowing the fact that it's not going to be an entertaining subject. Uh, you take a risk. The risk of being, uh, you know, one, not commercially successful and two, still people not talking about it and not creating waves in the society. So when you achieve one of it, at least when it is critically acclaimed and people talk about it and we see creating an impact on the society, we feel that's the success of the film. Sia, when we chose that as a subject, we knew that uh, if done properly and if we make the film properly and as truthfully as we want to, uh, we will certainly create stir in the, in the society and it will create impact in the society and which it did. And globally, uh, even when Sia was selected as one of the three Hindi film festival, Hindi films in the Goa International Film Festival. We were ratified uh, by the government and then also various film festivals where it has gone, it has been appreciated and people talked about it in all the Q&A, whatever we have done. So what persuaded you to make a film, uh, you know, that's going to make people uncomfortable? See, uh, I, I, I think it's around three years back, we had this major, major story breakout in all the newspapers headlines when uh, this whole now rape case came in and when the victim's family met with an accident, tragic accident where a lot of family members lost their lives uh, and the whole country was shaken right. with this and that's where the Supreme Court took so much uh, cognizance of this and posted a CBI inquiry into the whole system. But then after two, three days, this headlines changed and new headlines took over yeah. and most of us forget about it, what right. happened. The sensation behind it dies. And that's why I thought that what happens to the victim, the fighter who faces it all in its quest, in her quest to justice. So the film is all about that, that staying with the fighter, staying with the victim, going through the whole arc of our fight towards the justice. So that was the objective and that was the reason why we made this film, not to glorify the act, but to glorify the, the whole act of the victim her struggles and her fight for justice and let all the people of, of us in the society understand what they go through, okay. their pain, so that if we have a chance to protect somebody or to play a role of Mahindra, which is played by Vineet in the film, we should stand up and play. Right. Uh, so, you know, again, uh, this movie, uh, you could, this movie represented a story of a rape survivor and all of us could relate to it and the best part was that you very gracefully uh, you know portrayed the pain of the rape victim so how as a director did you manage to create that balance we we when we started the whole story and when the script writers were commissioned when they brought the first draft and it was very different from what the objective we had set in our mind objective was again to go through that human angle the angle of the story of the fighter the survivor, what she and her family goes through this process of justice. But the, the script which came to us was more focused on the act itself and the procedures and then more on co collaterals, etc. in the court. So we, uh, I personally rejected that script and said, okay, let me write myself. Went through the whole research papers and then we wrote a film, which is Sia now. is is more about the arc, the journey of this girl who okay. fights for the justice and stay with the human angle, how her struggles and day-to-day -day life to survive and stand up and what the families go through. Because when, when such heinous act happens, 
it's just not the survivor which is right. which is in problem which of course goes through the traumatic incident the trauma of that but the family members are also affected and when they are poor when they don't have resources to fight and they fight against those who are resourceful and powerful the life becomes more difficult right. everyone is at risk and that's what i wanted to depict and that's the reason why we chose to make this film like right that. the critics were talking about it the audience was talking about it and there was also a certain part of the audience that believed that you know or assumed that you played safe mm. you know so do you believe that as a director you played safe with the script the quality of film what has come out is is not playing safe it was that i purposefully wanted to to focus on the human side of the story right uh, playing safe doesn't mean that uh, playing unsafe doesn't mean that you go and start talking cuss words or st- right. start showing the brutality or or pinpointing on whose mistake was that's not safe that's 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 obvious but what we wanted to show that without going in that aspect can we can we depict the pain of the girl and i think we were very quite successful in doing that the the story from the story from the film screen went straight to the heart of the audience right. and audience felt it and i think that was the success what we had and we never wanted to pinpoint uh, that this is this person's mistake or this is police's mistake we felt that as a society as a large at large we are responsible overall and we should all take the responsibility equally uh, and and there was no point in fingering out who is going to be the the person who should be blamed of right we were more focused on creating the whole whole story about how it impacts and why it is a courageous decision from the point of view of victim to even take a decision to fight right um of course we could have spent minutes on her pain and agony but instead of that we wanted the people to feel the pain and agony of helplessness and that's what we showed in the film right uh, okay so you know there's this actor i won't mention his name but i personally agreed when he said you know that bollywood especially mainstream cinema uh, depicts rape scene in a very uh, you know in a very different manner say uh, that the villain Uh, per se is uh, you know seem to be enjoying it and his expressions are all dramatic whereas all of this should be handled with a lot of sensitivity that what people look at it is just utter disgust right so as a director where is it that you draw that line no when when we decide to write the script and when we decide to make the film as i said earlier the idea was not to objectify the rape and glorify the whole act the the objective was very different the agenda was to be with that victim post that whole ugly incident and that's why i didn't want to show the whole act what i wanted to show was even in spite of that act even in spite of cult- culprits being caught they get easy bail and then the the road to the the justice for the victim and the family is quite difficult and traumatic and that's the angle of the story we wanted to take and wanted to take the audience through those stories which are beyond headlines when the headlines vanish still the the fight continues at the backdrop and i wanted to be at that side of the backdrop right so you know bollywood has a habit of sensualizing or sensationalizing everything so i believe that you know uh, when there's a rape, rape scene depicted in movies our heroes are looked up to as saviors who's going to come and rescue and win over their love and then there are these sleazy dialogues like khuli tijori from a movie like jab we met or per se you know uh, this whole monologue, uh, monologue by chatur ramlingam from three idiots do you believe that bollywood is also a part of this problem you know promoting the rape culture i i i don't fully agree with this statement uh, because at the end of the day it's 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 various aspects including the education system inclu- including the way we groom our kids including the way we ourselves behave in the society there are so many other factors so many other reasons for the rot in the society what we are seeing Uh, of course film play important role in our society film play yeah. important role in guiding what happens in fiction also happens in reality and what right. happens in reality is better men- men- shown in fiction so it is of course there it has its own role but 
to to pinpoint that just to the one industry is wrong uh, and that's the reason why if if we see through the film we have not even used one cuss word not even used uh, to show the brutality and anything what we have tried to see is everybody who was supposed to play the role as a responsibility and the accountability through which they were given the role responsibility they have not done it and and that has resulted in the in the situation where we are in if if a judge plays a role what they are supposed to do or a police uh, constable plays a role what they are supposed to do or the medical legal people play the role they are supposed to do probably will prevent these crimes long back and and at very early stage right and less harm would be done so that's what i've been talking about and this film talks about yeah so everything was handled very gracefully i must say in your film but you know i would disagree a little about your bollywood part you know uh, per se a movie like kerala story where women were you know abducted uh, i mean sent to syria and a group of terrorists continuously raped them so something like that has to be handled with sensitivity and Certainly. not with right but i don't disagree with your point that right. this subject has to be held and dealt with sensitivity Uh, that's that's totally taken and and i'm not saying and i'm not trying to prevent that what i'm saying is uh, we have to go beyond this because um, sensationalizing the whole uh, whole act right. is not the priority priority is to show the show the, the darker side yeah. of the mishap what happens and and how difficult it is to even decide to fight and once you take a decision to fight then what are the forces work against you and your family and that's what i wanted to highlight right. so with the long history of bollywood however it has been assayed as a director where did you draw that line you know in your movie one was very simple i didn't want to objectify right. the whole thing whole act second i also didn't want to present that we need a superhero uh, yeah. to save i wanted my Uh, lead actor or protagonist uh, Sia to stand up and fight for her own cause. It was she who decides to fight, and she was not coaxed by a superhero. Ke tum lado. Uh, she of course needed help. We as a society, a part of society, we do need help uh, to to fight. But she was the one who raised her hand on her own to say that I want to fight. I want to see justice, and that's the difference. What I tried to create that right. we don't need a superhero male. for us for the women to to help and stand and fight otherwise they won't fight right well i think it's lovely if every director if all the change makers decide to think that way i think personally i am very impressed with whatever you said right now so uh, moving on did you ever encounter while watching a movie from any bollywood hollywood wherever where you felt like a certain scene you know a very sensitive scene could be handled in a certain way with much more grace dignity did you ever come across there are many incidences and of course each writer and director have their own independence of thought to present the way they want to uh, present but there are certain movies certain scenes where we felt and we see it that too much of objectification is done and it could have been handled in a very different way uh, disseminating more and better uh, level of pain what we want to communicate or show it to the audience but then each to his own or her own you know what when we get an opportunity uh, we should try to depict and try to say what we want to say in our own way uh, which we think is more conducive for the society Uh, so so of course yes answering directly to your question yes there are many scenes many films where we have those cringe moments where we say oh it should not have been shown or should not have been talked the way it has been uh, but audience uh, have their own way to accept or reject things uh, so yes uh, when we take up the the position of a director or a writer or producer we ensure that in our film we don't repeat those mistakes right yeah You know there was this one scene in the movie uh, you know which just struck with me the abduction scene of Sia and I just couldn't get out of my head so what was happening behind the scene while it was being shot and as a director how did you conceptualize the entire thing the whole act of abduction when she was yeah. pushed down yeah and, and then how what was, was going behind the scene and what was exactly going in your head also so uh, if if you see uh, there were two three main pillar points or pivot points of the film one was the abduction huh. second was the abduction room how she spent those 6 7 days yeah. there 
and third was the court where she gave her first statement. I see uh, as three important uh, points and I always felt as a first time film director, if I get these three pivots correctly, I will have a film in place. And, and that's why I very focused and well uh, addressed all the issues uh, with respect to how I'm going to shoot with clarity. On, on abduction part, as you rightly asked, uh, I, I wanted it very natural how it happens and I was insisting on uh, Pooja that you, we don't want to use a body double, we want it very natural, it will be safe and we rehearsed it and she was very confident and brave to do that. So one win was not to use body double because when you use the body you have to take a camera out very, very distant yeah. and take it. I, I kept the camera on her face and, and, and did that. Um, and, and the way it turned out because I wanted, I wanted to have the mud, the, the whole dust rising up and the way she has been beaten up and all. So, so it all came out very well as we had analyzed and put it in our you know, uh, photo book. So, so we had rehearsed for that, we had planned for that, even each camera angles we had planned for that. And, and it came out very well as we wanted to and it, came, it gave that amount of goosebumps when, when yeah, the whole, whole thing did. was shot and been edited and shown the screen and with the proper background score it really made impact. Yeah, it did, it sure left an impact, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I want to ask you that what was the promotional strategy of the film? See, when we talk about independent cinema and from the, and the school of cinema which I come from and the Shiv film comes from, whether it is Aakho Dekhi or Masan or Newton or Ram Prasad Ki Tervi, Kamiya, Dhanak, uh, all these films, what we are, we are small films, I call it small but brave heart films. We mostly depend upon um, word of mouth and international cinema film festivals. They go to these film festivals and they are being appreciated, they are critically acclaimed there and then they come back to the, to the country and, and people talk about it and watch it. We don't have those huge budgets in terms of promotions, advertisements. So we were very pretty simple that uh, with the advent of social media, we would focus on social media, yeah. uh, more tweets, more Instagram posts, more people talking about yeah. it and, and we were brave enough to, to do uh, review shows by the analysts and critics yeah. way ahead, like a couple of weeks ahead of the release so that they can start talking about it because we were very confident of our film. And we also did special shows in at least, I think, 10 to 12 cities with major influencers, invited them and they could see the film and tweet about it and talk about it. So that was our strategy to reach to the maximum. But the best thing would happen was Z5 came on board yeah. and uh, we were very happy uh, to to make them as a partner to further disseminate the film amongst the larger audience. And that what I thought was a high of our film and success of our film that we could achieve that. Right. And, and I'm very super proud of uh, what is being done by Z5 and I'm looking forward the way the film will be seen uh, by multiple audiences now. Yeah, well that's great. But also, don't you feel that it's a little sad that, you know, a movie with such a strong message that is also being loved for all the right reasons deserves to get that, yeah, or fails to get that, you know, fame or, uh, you know, in the right light to the right people. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a long journey. Yeah. Um, and this is, this is my 13th film as a producer and first film as an actor, Direct. as a director. Direct, yeah. So, so it's, it's a long journey ahead also where I, I strongly feel that if we stick on to the content, the class of content what we're making, there will be a time when uh, we will have box office success also, which is one of the major yardsticks of the success of the film yeah. or not. But over and above that, I strongly feel that we have to continue to make such films irrespective of what the commercial outcome yeah. is. Having said that, I, I would also say that uh, except otherwise Aakho Dekhi, our first film, we have made our money back in most of the films what we have made. So as long as we get the money back and we receive critical appreciation, I think our job is well done. Sorry, before I wind up, I have to ask you this. The lead, of course, of the film plays such a strong character. Were you skeptical? Uh, while prepping her because of the strong, you know, because of the kind of role that she had to play and were you worried that you, that this all might take a toll on her mental health? No, when uh, when we went for Pooja, she's yeah. a brilliant actor and yeah. she's done justice to the role. Um, I was very clear, we, we sat with her and we read through the script and I asked her, 
that this is what we are going to shoot exactly and uh, if you are comfortable with it and, and of course uh, we were personally there along with uh, my creative producer um, Rashmi because she was a female so it became more easier for us to work together and convince what we were we were very sure of what dialogues would be used how much we have to speak and uh, and also post scene uh, once we shoot uh, once we complete the shoot every day especially those critical scenes what i'm talking of we would spend some time together uh, three of us uh, post shoot of that day yeah. and take it through the process so that we all whatever the emotional things which we have in our mind or heart we would come out there a couple of days when we would have cried also but it was very important that next day we would come back with that same zeal to start right. working so one i think one important thing what we did was uh, after the shoot we would stay back for an hour or half and sit together and discuss through what we did why we did and uh, how it was and uh, right. so that gave that whole idea that we are still acting you know so it's not in reality so it was mm. very easy for pooja also to go through that whole process right. but i definitely feel it would have impacted her mentally uh, it impacted me as a director so yeah. i'm very sure uh, it would have taken a couple of months or weeks for her to come out of that yeah. so you know my last question before i wind up you know as a man when you touch such a sensitive topic do you, uh, does it caters or does it touch your you know does it make you more sensitive and more empowered towards your craft yeah it is because we are all human the man or woman we are all human and it's a human story it's a wrong which was done and and again we we as society do wrong by delaying and denying the justice yeah. so 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 as a human being it, it impacts us and and i always wanted to start my first film from the film where it's very difficult to uh, to keep that whole idea of balancing act where yeah. we don't uh, uh, as we as people call it that you don't play safe and that you also speak what you want to speak right. with all prudence and all truthfulness so this is what we did and uh, i think we were fairly successful Absolutely. in doing what we yeah. we wanted to do So thank you so so much for joining us today it was a lovely interaction thank you thank you so much please watch out for their film on Z5